I'm sure that most of you are familiar with the Nissan R35 GTR with its mighty VR38 engine. The R35 is arguably the best performance car of our generation. The R35 holds many speed records in a diverse array of motorsports and everything from drag racing to top speed racing to road racing. Um, because it's used in racing so much, the limits of the whole platform is pushed, especially the engine. Some of the hottest versions of the VR are pushing more than 2,000 horsepower. When you start pumping out power like that, the engine's weak points become readily apparent. And one of those areas is the bearings. Today we have the pleasure of not only introducing an exciting and game-changing line of engine bearings for the performance industry, but we have the teams behind the new Alpha line of bearings from King to talk to us about why these bearings were developed and their tech features. Sheena from King Bearings is coming to us today all the way from Israel. Hi Sheena, can you give us viewers some insight to what King is all about? Hi everyone, I'm very happy to join you from the King factory in Israel. King Engine Bearings is a world-class developer and manufacturer of high-technology engine bearings for automobiles, light and heavy-duty trucks, marine aviation, standby power and other types of internal combustion engines. King is an engine bearing specialist company. Because of its specialization and focus, the company is recognized for producing the highest quality engine bearings available in the market today. The King line includes OEM replacement rod bearings, main bearings, can bearings, thrust washers, and a special range of place bearings. We also have Nick and Joey from AMS with us today. For those folks who may not be familiar with AMS, can you guys tell us more about the company and what you specialize in? Hey guys, how's it going? Hey. Uh, sure. Here at AMS Performance, we primarily focus on turbocharged vehicles and performance products for them. Uh, we do everything from engine calibration to repairs and maintenance. Uh, we also do engine modification and drivetrain component upgrades. Uh, but at the root of it all, AMS is an engineering company. All of our uh, engine components are designed and developed by a team of engineers who have many years of experience in the field. Um, we also do a lot of real world testing to make sure our products are going to be okay for the customers and they'll last a long time. Sheena, this partnership without a doubt is a big deal for the automotive aftermarket. The collaboration of a performance specialist like AMS and a top tier manufacturer such as King is exciting news for any performance enthusiast or professional. Can you share how this project came about and why AMS was chosen as a technical partner? Yeah, we have been working with AMS Performance for many years now, constantly improving our products. We created narrowed, dulled, and coated versions for GTR applications, all based on AMS's technical and on-track knowledge. This cooperation is a natural continuation of the fruitful work we have been engaged in for years. Unveiling the King Alpha line in such a challenging time is really empowering as to our stance on the future of our industry. The new Alpha line includes bearings for the Nissan GTR, Audi R8, Lamborghini Huracan, and the new Infiniti Q50 and Q60 VR30 twin turbo engines. Hey Nick, let's talk about your collaboration with King and how a partnership with your experienced motorsports level engineering team benefits the high performance oriented customer. We took our years of extensive engine building knowledge here at AMS, combined with our innovative engineering capabilities, and combined that with the highest quality manufacturing that King is known for. And what does that mean to the end user? Uh, the end result is that they get the highest performing engine bearing on the market. Uh, we're very excited for the future of this product line as we'll be incorporating it into all future uh, engines that we build here at AMS with our new engine building program that should be coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. It really allows each team to concentrate on what they do best. Hey, Shayna, what was unique about the AMS engine program and how did it influence the way you approached the development and manufacturing of the new Alpha line of bearings? Well, AMS engines are operating in extremely challenging conditions. Bearings installed in such engines work at greater bearing loading and lower oil fuel thickness. In order to prevent the occurrence of oil starvation and metal-to-metal -metal contact, we had to decide which material will be suitable for those engines. 
the material had to be strong and wear resistant while being soft and conforming at the same time. That is why we decided to design the entire alpha line with polymer coating. Kim developed Pimax coat polymer coating that is applied over our Pimax black dry metal bearings in Kim factory as part of the manufacturing process. The bearing layer thickness is designed so that the overall coated thickness is not increased by the coating. Pimax coat is proven to be a superior coating for race applications. It enhances the seizure and wear resistance of the bearings and protects against soil starvation. Hey Joey, let's dive into the metal to metal failures that can occur while operating high load engines. Specifically, what were you seeking as a solution from an engineering perspective? There's many different reasons why engine bearings fail. Uh, a few of them can be fixed with good engineering from the bearing manufacturer. Uh, with a good bearing, you want to be looking for something that is durable, uh, retains temperature and doesn't overheat and will be very long lasting and not have a lot of friction on other metal components in the engine. Uh, we reached out to King Bearings because we were looking for a bearing at an OEM size and there wasn't a lot on the market at the time and we knew King was able to step up to the task and get the job done. We found that 650 foot-pounds of torque to be the limit of the stock VR38 internals and though your Alpha engine program has pushed well beyond these limits. So we're sure you've seen many failures and have been able to study them closely. The new Alpha line of King engine bearings has narrowed and dialed bearing versions for GTR applications. Can you explain why these features are needed and how they came about? Yes, a few years ago we ran into issues as horsepower levels became higher and higher. Uh, we switched to a billet crankshaft which has a larger radius which requires more narrow bearings and that's where the narrowed bearings came into play. Uh, as for the doweled bearings, it also was another situation where horsepower levels grew and we had to replace more engine internals and we switched to aluminum rods. Uh, since aluminum rods do change size with temperature and RPM rating, uh, they often put dowels in the rods, just like this one, and we had to get bearings to accept that dowel and that's exactly what King did for us. On top of what Joey mentioned, we also decided to incorporate the elliptics feature in the GTR bearings. Elliptics is a new high-performance design for oiling holes. It has a circular hole shape with a slot located in the oil groove in order to increase the cross-sectional area of the oiling surface without decreasing the bearing working surface. This solution improves the performance of the engines at high rotation speeds. Hey Nick, earlier Shana mentioned that you've been working together with King for many years. Can you share with us some of the success you've had with your motorsports engine program with the help of King? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's been really at the heart of the GTR program since its inception and basically propelled us through several records. We were the first in the 9s, 8s, 7s, and 6 second range in a quarter mile. Uh, we also use it in our VR30 program uh, with our uh, Red Alpha Q60 project, um, and I'm sure you're going to see more of those coming soon as the engine program gets built out, as well as uh, in our V10 program with uh, our, uh, our Alpha Omega Huracan drag project. Um, again, you will see a lot more of those coming soon, I'm sure. Any final thoughts from the AMS team? I can speak for everyone here at AMS and say that we're honestly really excited about this collaboration with King and most importantly what it will mean for all of our high performance customers. Uh, they'll have the best of everything that we have to offer from our engineering capabilities and everything that the best that King has to offer all in one product. Um, I also want to thank Moto IQ for getting everybody together. Uh, I know it's a little bit different way to do an interview but uh, we hope you, know, you guys enjoyed it um, and thank you very much. Stay tuned. I'd like to thank Shana from King and Nick and Joey from AMS for joining us today in this little tech session. We're really excited to try the Alpha bearings on our own VR and we'll be working with AMS on our own project and uh, we're really excited to get started and create some great content. Stay tuned. Thank you Mike. It was a pleasure to join this conversation with you.